see, this is the Nixie clock with a calendar. When it's first plugged in, it's going to show all zeros. And that means that the calendar is not turned on. Now if I push either one of the set buttons, it'll turn to all ones. Now the calendar is on. Three ones after that just mean it's detected 60 hertz. 12 means it's on 12 hour format. Right now it starts up. It always starts on 1 o'clock a.m. Now if we watch it until it counts up to the seconds count of 50, it will display the month, day, and year. And the calendar hasn't been set yet, so it's going to display January 1st of the year 2000. And for the seconds count 50, 51, and 52, it's going to display the calendar instead of the clock. And there's 01, 01, 00, January 1st, 2000. Then on 54 goes back. Now, if you want to set the calendar, you push fast set and hold it down, then push the toggle button in the back and hold both buttons. Okay, we'll be fast setting through the years. It's already up to 2001. And the format is months are on the left, days in the middle, and two digit year on the right. Okay, then if you let go of the toggle button but hold the fast set button, it'll stay on that date, February 9th of 2004 until you let go of that. It'll go back to the clock. Then you can set the time and it won't lose the date. Now to slow set the date, you can just push and hold the slow set button then push and hold the toggle button and see it'll just advance the days. And then if you do the same thing, let go of the toggle button and just hold the slow set button, it'll hold that date. Then when you let go of the slow set, it'll go back to a regular clock. Then you can choose use the fast set, slow set buttons to set the time as usual.